All right, this is Steve. And Steve is right here. Um, what we're gonna be doing, is, I'm trying to do this holding my phone, is we are going to, um, this weekend, um, this valve leaked. It's still leaking, but all the water leaked out and the pump ran dry for just a couple of minutes until I noticed that it was running and running and running and nobody was using it, so I turned it off. But then after the trip back, um, as I was working on trying to replace the valve, um, turn the pump on, with put some water in it, you know, because basically I was checking to make sure the thing leaks, doesn't leak. And then it didn't leak. And then I was going to um, pressurize the water system so that I could um, put some more water in the, the black holding tank because uh, I'm going to flush it uh, in a couple of days. I'm going to take the trailer and go flush it. So um, turned it on and noticed there was no pressure at the uh, faucets and the pump just kept running and running and running. So I've got a bad pump and I'm going to take it out and it is buried way back there under this couch um, which I don't know um, I don't know how to take it apart um, how do I get it off of here so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna take the water tank out and then I can just lay in there and I can lay back there and get that this water tank is just sitting you know it's just sitting in here all I have to do is lift um, take this hose take this hose clamp off right here and take that hose off and then this whole thing will lift out and uh, as long as I disconnect this and these three wires back here, I'm going to mark them which wire goes on which. I'm going to write on the side red, green, and yellow. And then I can disconnect them, disconnect this. This can stay on because it's just, it's just a drain hose that goes nowhere. So, And then I'm going to pull it out. So uh, let's get to work. Alrighty, I think this is so unprofessional. This is definitely not no YouTube channel. Okay, here we go. We're gonna write red. And green. And yellow. All right. So we've got those marked on there. And now we can take our pliers and loosen up the nut. I don't have a socket set here, so. Way. Talk about tight. <laughs> I might have to get a I might have to hold I might have to hold this. Problem is right now that is spinning. Let's see if we can get any of these loose, or am I going to have to go get more tools? No, this one came right off. That's what they all should do. They should all just come right off. These wires are the sensor wires for the tank level freshwater tank how much water does it have in it oh I just got hit by the couch it's balanced it wants to either open or close all right now we're down on our side 
I'm hoping I can get this loose. things turning. Yeah, let's try this one. set of pliers which I don't think I have. Let's see how long these pliers are. Huh. Wonder what the green one goes to. All right, so I got about, uh, trying to figure out how much slack I have to work with. All right, we got the red wire to the red wire. Oh, there's a fourth one. I didn't even see that one. I'm gonna write that one down too. White. All right, let's see if this one will come loose. I think this one broke loose. Nope. I was hoping it did, but it didn't. All right, well, three out of four are too tight for me to loosen, so I have to go figure something out. So we're going to end this and uh, we'll be back. All right, I've discovered, as you can see now, the tank is out. And I can clean out under there. See, there used to be carpeting throughout the whole camper here. And actually, the carpeting went to about um, there. And then it came out, and then it went on an angle and came across. So this was that all was linoleum and that's actually under here too right there right there that's the old flooring and then i put the new flooring of course i couldn't get this out but we got the tank out now so now i can get to the water pump which is right there i'm gonna go into there unscrew it from the wall Disconnect the wires, disconnect the hoses, and uh, and hopefully it'll come out. If I don't have, all I have is that wrench. If I can't get, if I can't get that connector off right there with that, then I will have to get my channel locks from my son's shop in my race trailer and bring it home and get that undone. But I got a lot done today because I did get this out. I did get the tank out. I took it outside and I washed it off. It was dusty. So you can see I got that piece of wood under there. So I guess what's been happening is 
this shelf, which is supposed to sit on that wood on that side, and that wood on that side, that wood has come away from the side piece, and it is, um, man, I could probably mm, take that side out, take, take both of them off, and take the whole couch out. But we're not doing that right now. Right now we're working on the water pump. So let's get that out. All right. So I disconnected the two water lines going into the camper, coming from the water tank. Go, so that's going into the pump. That's going out of the pump. We've got a bunch of wires here that are a white wire. And then there's a red wire. There's a red wire on the top of the pump. And here's the pump. So on the top of the pump, this white wire goes down to this top connector, and then the then there's the red one which goes to the, um, I don't remember which one. It goes on the bottom, the, red, the other red one goes on here. This one goes on the top, sorry. This one goes on the top, and then that other red one, which is right here, that red one goes on the bottom. And where is it? There it is. So in that bottom one, that's where that other spade connector goes. And then we've got the white one, that white wire there, which connects into this one and is, I would believe, the ground. So this is the pump that I need to order. I don't think I can fix it. I, maybe I could try. You know, maybe I'll try and take it apart and see why it's not pumping any water. It's just a bunch of screws, a bunch of Phillips screws. We can take them off and uh, look at the bottom pump. I think I'll do that before I order a pump because I think I can get this for about $75. But if I can fix it for less, uh, that would be ideal. All right, so there we go. Yeah, work to do.